Good evening, family. Checking in before I shut it down. Today's Sunday, um, April the 5th, and I am... It's been a long day. It was a really good night. I hope some of you were able to do the global meditation last night um, to bring in the light down from the universe this is outside of ours, the cosmic consciousness, all the way down into our own individual selves and into our planet as we seek to heal those who are sick from the coronavirus and seek to heal our planet. And this morning I woke up and I made the error in looking at, hello sister, made the error in uh, looking at the newspaper. First thing in the morning, um, not a good thing. And I was very, very triggered by uh, two deaths. One was a 27-year-old grocery clerk at the Giant Grocery Store in Largo, Maryland, not far from here, who um, transitioned due to the virus. And um, the other was a young man in Detroit, Michigan, who was a bus driver, and I understand a video that he did a week and a half ago, went viral, very upset about a passenger's getting on the bus, and one woman in particular who was coughing and not covering her mouth, and he raised holy hell on this video, and I happened to see that video, and then it shared that he passed a week and a half after he recorded that video. So I started off the day not the best way. Um, and I allowed myself to really feel it. And for the first time, I cried. I wept. I got myself together enough to go to the grocery store during senior hours, wonderful concept, senior hours from 7 a.m. to 9. And in the grocery store, I ran into a woman who was checking out groceries and she shared with me the same pain that she felt, that I felt around this 27-year-old cashier at the Giant who passed. And the grocery clerk shared with me that today would be her last day working until this situation had been resolved and eradicated. And I commended her and telling her it was, you know, it took a lot of courage to go in and say, I'm not coming back after today because I have to take care of myself. She said she had a young grandbaby at home and she didn't feel safe working in the grocery store. So these two situations with the bus driver and the grocery clerk, these people on the front lines, I mean, I broke down and I cried a lot. But I did spend a wonderful day with my daughter. Um, and we took Ziggy out for a long walk in the park with our friend, Crystal. And it was it, it, was, it ended up being a really beautiful day. Um, this evening, though, I wanted to share a ritual that some of you probably are doing um, as well. Um, but I think you now know that we all know that... Um, we, in order to change our external circumstances, we need to change what's going on inside of ourselves. And so one of the things I would like to share um, is Ho'oponopono, um, Ho'oponopono, which is a Hawaiian ritual of um, forgiveness and reconciliation, which is used a lot in family situations in Hawaii. And... Uh, minister woman that I know uh, shared a way that she uses it in a chant and I worked with um, some of the girls in camp last year using this particular chant and so I want to share it with you because it really helps me a lot as I look to change the internal stuff that's going on with me and I'm going to just sing it to you it's four phrases and you can work them however you like. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me and thank you. 
And when you say these phrases over and over again, it brings up what's going on inside of you. What are you sorry about? <laughs> what, who do you love? Who do you want to ask forgiveness? And who do you want to say thank you to? What's coming up inside of you? So I'm going to share it the way I will be doing it tonight before I go to bed. And it's really about taking responsibility. Responsibility is the ability to respond to what is going on. And I'm a big believer that we must take responsibility for what's going on in our world. So it's like this. I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. I thank you. I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. I thank you. I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. I thank you. I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. I thank you. Hono pono pono. 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 It's late. I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. I thank you. I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. I thank you. So, Hono Pono Pono. You can look it up. It's a nice nice, nice process. Forgive yourself. Forgive the world. Forgive your loved ones. Forgive your friends. Say, I'm sorry. Say, thank you. And mostly, I love you. I love you. I love you. Hono, hono, pono. Try it. And prayerfully, it'll work for you. Because I need it to work for me. Because today has been a rough day. And I'm feeling a little sad about what's going on right now. God bless you and keep you. Talk to you soon, come. Rest well tonight. Thanks for watching.